A spontaneous reaction is one that goes in the forward direction. An extensive reaction not only goes, but it goes on to make mostly products. But when we use the terms spontaneous and extensive, we don't mean that a reaction is fast. Spontaneity and extensiveness say nothing about the speed or rate of a reaction. Rusting is a spontaneous process, and eventually an extensive reaction, but it certainly is not fast. This is the fifth in a series of six modules where we are thinking about reaction energetics. We started out considering energy transfer between system and surroundings. When heat is transferred at constant pressure, there is an enthalpy change. If we combine enthalpy and entropy, we can get the free energy change, delta G, which indicates spontaneity. If a reaction is reversible, it can reach equilibrium. Where the equilibrium lies tells us about the reaction's extensiveness, which is characterized by the standard free energy change, delta G zero, and the equilibrium constant, K. This answers the question, how far does it go? What we want to explore now is the question, how fast does it get there? This is the area of kinetics. We'll start with a quantity called activation energy. Activation energies help dictate reaction rates, and we'll see how these rates relate to equilibrium.